are one day, one day from the weekend. One day, well not even like a day, not even a full 24 hours. It is Friday. That is exciting. And do you know what that means? It is that time for TGIF, Wilson County Public Library's weekly book talk where we cover the best in YA literature. I am your host, Kate Britton. I am the teen librarian here at the Wilson County Public Library, and I'm so glad that you're tuning in today to join us for this episode. We didn't have one last week since we were closed for Independence Day. I hope you all had a really nice uh, weekend, a nice long weekend. You didn't get too sunburned. I didn't, which is a miracle because I burn like bacon on a grill. Just go with it, I don't know. Um, uh, and please uh, just put up with this. I, I cut my own bangs, and uh, it's, I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse, but it's not great, so, so bear with that, too. Um, so we got, some, we got a really good response to the last graphic novel that we talked about, which was Harley Quinn, Broken Glass. And so I figured, well, why not go with another graphic novel? Maybe we can do, like, one a month or something, if you think that's pretty cool. Um, so today we're talking about um, one, a pretty popular graphic novel series that has actually been recently, it's been recently announced that it's being made into an Amazon series. So it'll be coming to a computer or tablet or phone near you. Um, and this graphic novel series is called Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn. This is, if you are a fan of a show of, like, Stranger Things, um, if you like, what else would have had the kind of a similar feeling, um, the movie Super 8, um, It by Stephen King, uh, you'll probably really like this book. It's a coming-of-age novel um, about a group of girls who uh, deliver newspapers. They're paper delivery girls. And, um, of course, it takes place in the 80s because that's the thing now. Um, but it kind of opens up with a 12-year-old girl named Erin who has this really confusing dream and it's really vivid. And she wakes up and she goes on to start her paper route. And because it's, you know, the day after Halloween, it's November 1st, you know, there's still a little bit of weirdness going around. But there are some kind of just weird things happening um, she and her friends who are these other newspaper delivery girls are noticing um, some of the people in the neighborhood start disappearing. Um, people who are wearing Halloween costumes just kind of start showing up from different times or places. And so all these kind of supernatural things start happening and there are people kind of starting to attack them and things like that. And it's this kind of Time traveling has like an uh, an um, like a, a kind of a try time travel kind of aspect to it, um, and it's just this kind of supernatural sci-fi fiction with this really fun teen coming of age element to it. But it's not sappy. Um, it's not one of those that's like it's it's not played out. Um, which is which is pretty cool because sometimes you know coming of age stuff can be a little too sappy about growing up. As a person who is on the other other side, having grown up already, I know that some of the coming of age stuff can be a little too sentimental about you know growing up and uh, becoming an adult. And this is not overly sentimental at all, but it will leave you with this kind of fun, empowered feeling. Um, about these girls and they're these really fun great characters it's really really sharp witty dialogue and it's a graphic novel so it has these really neat illustrations um, I personally am a big fan of the artwork in the book um, but this is a series um, there are currently six of these out and we do have them and we are ordering more here at the Wilson County Public Library which is exciting because you can come check them out and then you can read them and then you can tell me what you think and then we can have like a really cool discussion and uh, I don't know, it could be kind of fun. I like talking about books, as you can see. Um, uh, while this is fine, it's a little one-sided. Um, 
but you know, come chat with me sometime. I would I would love to talk about it. Um, so yeah, so yeah, Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna have fun reading it. And I think we will continue, we'll probably do a graphic novel each month. So at least, unless there's something really good that's coming out and we need to do like two, two whole graphic novels a month. So that's exciting. So, um, so if you want to come check it out, come check it out because you can come in the library now. Um, make sure you do wear your handy dandy face mask. If you see me, I'll be looking like this. Um, because it is required to come into the library. Uh, the good news is it's, you know, you're not too bad. You're not too bad. Um, you can handle it. Um, so make sure you come in, you wear a face mask. If you don't have one, we can get you one at the front desk. Um, but come check it out. I think you'll really like it. You can also place it on hold on our website, and we'll have it ready for you when you get here. Um, so anyway, if you have read this, already let me know what you think um, comment on the video um, if you're watching this on youtube make sure you subscribe to our wilson county public library channel if you are watching this on facebook and you haven't liked our facebook page please go ahead and do so because you can keep up with the latest events also keep in mind it is summer reading program time um, so keep your eyes out for the events that we are going to have here uh, well not here but digitally for our summer reading program we've got Lots of great um, virtual digital events planned for people of all ages, from kids all the way up to adults. And teens, you are not excluded from that. We have stuff specially for you, too. So have a great weekend. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Keep six feet apart. Don't do anything stupid. Um, and yeah, be good. And we will see you next week right here on TGIF. <laughs> Bye, guys.